Hello, mga kashomai! Have an inspiring day to all of you. And I just want to say thank you for all your support to our 227 subscribers, likers, and viewers. This is Teacher Panda. And let's have a fun facts trivia about Panda. Did you know? But they call to occasionally eat something other than bamboo. Although pandas are 99% vegetarian, their digestive system is typically of carnivore. For the 1% of their diet that isn't bamboo, pandas eat eggs, small animals, carrion, and forage in farmland for pumpkin, kidney beans, wheat, and domestic pig food. Right, so this is um, the online teacher blog and welcome to our channel, your educational channel. Let's learn and have fun. Please click the subscribe button down below and please like also and share. So let's start now with our new topic of today which is entitled Frequently Asked Questions for Path or Philippine Air Force Civilian Human Resource Recruitment. What are the qualification standards or QS for, for PATH Civilian Human Resource Government position? The QS or the minimum and basic requirements for position in the government in terms of education, training, experience, civil service eligibility, physical fitness, and other qualities required for the successful performance of the duties of the position. What are the eligibility requirements for PAF civilian human resource government positions? Letter A, first level eligibilities. Appropriate for appointment to positions in the first level not qualified to apply to those positions covered by bar, board, special laws, and other special eligibilities determined by the CSC. B. Second level eligibilities appropriate for appointment to position in the second and first level positions, not qualified to apply to those positions covered by bar, board special laws and other special eligibilities determined by the CSC. Letter C, eligibilities resulting from passing the board examination which require completion of at least a bachelor degree can be considered appropriate to positions for which the examinations were given and the other first and second level positions not covered by bar board special laws and other specialty or I mean special eligibilities determined by the CSE. Letter D, eligibilities resulting from passing the bar board examination are required for appointment to positions, the duties of which con constitute practice of profession regulated by the Philippine or bar laws. What are the initial requirements of BAP civilian human resource? Letter A, Fully accomplished personal data sheet or PDS with recent passport size picture CS4 number 212 revised 200, I mean 2017 and be guided on guide on filing up CSC PDS form which can be downloaded at www.csc.gov.ph letter B performing rating in the last rating period if applicable. The letter C, authenticated copy of certificate of eligibility rating license, certificate by issuing agency valid ID license for practice of profession. Letter D, authenticated copy of transcript of record or diploma. Letter E, birth certificate or marriage certificate or uh, um, I mean from PSA and letter F, local clearances such as barangay clearance, mayor's clearance, police clearance, RTC court clearance, NBI clearance, and the IPNP clearance. Do I really need to submit all the requirements listed? Yes, only those who complete requirements submitted through the email shall be entertained. What if I can only complete 80% of the requirements on the deadline? Would I still be considered to be 
to the application? Yes, you may initially submit the up available the documents you have on April 9, 2021 and submit the locking requirements not later than April 15, 2021. What if I have submitted the complete requirements beyond the deadline? What or would my application still be considered? Yes, the PAF Civilian Human Resource Recruitment Team will consider your application to the future post with validity of your submitted requirements. Will I immediately receive a response to my application? You will receive a notice from the PAF Civilian Human Resource Recruitment Team through email and text message after the deadline of application. What if the assurance that I would be considered to the vacant position I applied for? Letter A, you complied the following application process. Scan the QR code, fill up the online registration form, and submit the pre-employment requirements as stated on the job post through email. Send to chrdpfhrmc at gmail.com. Letter B, you meet the qualification standards of the vacant position. Letter C, you have submitted the complete requirements. Do you accept working applicants due to the threat or threat posed by COVID-19 to public health? Walk-in applicants are not allowed. Instead, all applicants shall be online using the online registration form and email. I applied last year but was not selected to the vacant position. Can I still reapply? Yes, you may submit your new application and complete pre-employment -re requirements as long as you meet the qualification standards of the vacant position. Is there an age requirement to the vacant positions yes at least 18 years of age at the time of application and above all right so thank you for watching guys and hope you've learned a lot from our new topic of the day this is again teacher or the online teacher blog channel seeing from the book of matthew chapter 25 verse 6 and at midnight there was a cry made behold the bride groom crumbs and go out to meet him all right so to the bridegroom jesus christ be all the glory and exaltation please click the subscribe button below like and share and see you next time only here in our channel bye guys see you next time